Alright, well, what's up guys? It's Brandon from the Two Piece Mandem and I know this happened on Sunday and it's pretty much Tuesday and but I had to talk about this and it's just I'm a Chelsea fan, so obviously now I had to I have to discuss this. It's just the situation between Sari and Kepa Riza Balaga when Kepa refused to come off the pitch. And to me, I know there was a misunderstanding with that and a miscommunication, but regardless if your coach is telling you to go off the block clock pitch and you have to go off the freaking pitch, like saying no and just disobeying his disorder as the head coach, doesn't that just show that um, that that the player just doesn't respect him? Like it just shows. And to me, I actually do feel sorry for him. I'm not going to say sorry because against Man City, he played absolutely amazing. If anything, we deserve to freaking win that game. I don't give two craps what anyone has to say. We deserve to win that flipping game, right? You can laugh all you want, but you know, you know damn well we deserve that win. And to do, and for Kepa to freaking disobey Sari after like, what, three minutes until the penalty shootout it was ridiculous. If he just brought Willie on, maybe Willie would have saved the majority of the shots because he's, he's good at, at stopping penalties. Let's be real, right? He's good at stopping penalties, right? And for Kepa... T- for Kepa to like still play and then he, he still just he just flops it for us. Like it's ridiculous. Like the Aguero shot he should have saved. But it's not even like the penalty shooter, it's just disobeying Sari, and that's where that really caused a concern for me, to be honest with you. It just shows like they have no res- that he just doesn't have respect for the manager. Like he should have come off regardless, whether um it's a tactical substitution or whether it's a freaking um hamstring problem because um Kepa did go down twice and that's what just kind of annoyed me. And I just had to freaking thought this because we actually could have won this cup. And that puts more weight on Sarri's shoulders. He shouldn't get sacked for that in any way, shape or form after that game. After that game, he should not get sacked. Because when you watch... You see, here's the thing, right? I don't mind losing. But if you lose with, like, no fight, no courage and no determination, right? And you don't go down to the freaking final whistle. And you don't show any form of tactical... um tactical presence or formation or strategies to actually break the team down or actually defend against them, then obviously I'm going to slate the manager because I'm not not just the manager, the players as well, because the players that will, will deserve it as well. That's when, when we lost 6-0, what do you think? I was pissed off and I made that rant video. I was just freaking annoyed because the team was rubbish. I saw it in their play. I saw how they couldn't be bothered. You just watched their body language and they couldn't give two shites. And the fact that they did that to our freaking away fans was freaking disgraceful. And that's why I was sick, right? Because of that. But this game, it just shows, it's just a complete opposite. We lost the game, but with the way we played, I love the way we played. I love the way we might be um, marked up, the way we defended. That's what I love from that game. And it worked. It showed. And if anything, we should have won that flipping game. And it just showed on. And that's what we want to see as Chelsea fans. You don't mind if you lose, but at least go down fighting. Show courage, show passion, show determination. Show slip football, show good defending. That's all we want to flip and see from our club, all right? And we don't get that every week, and that's what kind of annoyed us. That's why we wanted Sarri out. But going back to the um, Kepa Riza Balaga and Sarri um, situation, I'm kind of disappointed in Kepa, and we have a game against Tottenham tomorrow, and Kepa just should, shouldn't start. I'm going to be honest with you, he shouldn't start. Because of what he did, he just should not start. He doesn't deserve to start because he disrespected the manager. I'm going to be honest with you. And it shows you that Sari has no backbone as well because you should have just stood there and said that. You should have told him to get off the freaking field and that he's the manager. But he just let it happen. And that pissed him off to the max. And to be honest with you, Sari doesn't even deserve that. He genuinely does not deserve that. And if we lose this game against Tottenham, then God knows what's going to happen to him. He, he might even get sacked. But if anything, we should win this game for him and Kepa should, just shouldn't start. Uh, I, I'm going to be real. He just shouldn't start for this game. And that's just my opinion on it. And that's all I wanted to say, really. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below. Obviously, now I haven't been uploading um, a lot of videos recently. And to be honest with you, I've not just been focusing on this channel as much. I've been focusing more on my coaching channel because I do want to build that up as well. That's something I do want to build up. If you guys have heard of NoFap, 
it's something that I want to build up on there and just improve and encourage people to do it so they can just improve their lives. And that's just the one thing that I want to do. All right, that's something I want to build as well. But I do want to build this channel as well because obviously I do care about this channel. Me and Haru, we both care about this channel. And it's just as simple as that. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.